Hey folks, welcome back to Grumpy Old GMs, where we work to help you develop your inner greatest GM. And I share the exploits of uh, professional GMing, like I'm gonna going to today, because hopefully that helps some people. Actually, I know it helps some people because they give me some feedback, but I want to help more people, because we definitely need more GMs out there, and more and better GMs and stuff. So tonight, it is March 26th, 2023, and we are launching a new table. The table is uh, specifically, a couple of weeks ago, there was a gentleman who wanted to join one of our tables. And the table, you know, already had uh, some characters probably, well, we were running, um, you know, old the old adventure module X5, Temple of Death, which is uh, slated according to the, uh, the blurb on the cover for character levels 6 to 10. And... Um, this, you know, this guy's kind of, he's kind of disappointed and he's like, well, I really wanted a, a first level table where everybody's starting at first level together and we, we all start at first level and just explore the world of Mistara together. And well, we've got, you know, Sunday night open, so we made it happen. Um, and, uh, but you know, there's a question that a lot of people will ask. You know, and it's a decent question, and so I'm going to answer that here for everybody on this video. But it's like, so how long is this table going to last? Or how long is this campaign going to last? Um, now, so first of all, I would differentiate between the word campaign and the word table. The campaign is forever. So I started playing D&D when I was 11, and I started the continuity of this particular campaign when I was 16. And everything that I DM is in continuity with this campaign. So if you join one of our tables, like if you join our new table tonight and your character does something that changes the world, that happens for everybody going forward. Uh, there have been characters who have become gods. There have been characters who've time traveled and paradoxed and messed up their own history. Uh, there have been characters who've gotten married to NPCs and had kids. There's characters who have gotten married to other PCs and had kids. And sometimes they take those kids and make them new PCs instead of NPCs. Um, it's been multi-generational, you know, since 1987. And uh, so the campaign is forever. Now, a, an individual table, though, that has a life cycle. I've had tables in high school. I've had tables in college. I've had tables at various uh, places, cities, and uh, out in the places out in the country. I've lived in my adult life. Uh, you know, I've lived in Texas. I've lived in Illinois. I've lived in Missouri. Um, in my adult life, lived in these different states and big towns, small towns, whatever. And, uh, you know, so a table composition can change and it's not just from the DM moving around, you know, people change jobs, people move away, people change shifts at their jobs and can't come at the same time anymore, or they get a significant other in their lives and, you know, it doesn't understand gaming or, you know, or whatever, or they just have to get a second or even third job and there's no time to game anymore. But, you know, th stuff happens. So tables can have sort of a natural lifespan anyway. Um, in the 38 years that I did this before, I spent the last two years doing it professionally. So, um, but how does that look if like you wanted to join one of our tables right now? Well, in the past two years, here's what I've seen. Um, everything from one extreme to the other. So on the shortest extreme and the longest extreme. On the shortest extreme, there are tables that might last one or two sessions and then just kind of break up because the well, the next topic I'm going to talk about here in this video, not, not even next time, is about putting together tables with random people from the public. Um, and that's sometimes us human beings, we just don't mesh with other human beings. Sometimes personalities just don't go together the right way. And yeah, I do end up with, you know, private messages on Discord, you know, John, I think your DMing is really good and everything, but I just can't game with that person. Um, and I get it, you know, a lot of the time. Sometimes I don't get it. Sometimes I'm like, I didn't see anything wrong with them, but, but sometimes I'm like, yeah, I understand. It just depends on the situation and the people. But, uh, you know, human beings, not this newsflash, not all of us human human beings on the earth like all of the other human beings on the earth. Not all of us human beings on the earth appreciate all the other human beings on the earth. That's just a thing. And, um, but the, uh, so some of the tables on the shortest extreme 
It may last just one or two sessions. On the longest extreme, we may never know. Because uh, I did this for 10 months, and then a quote-unquote real job came into my life, and I took a break for that real job for a while, and then the real job ended, you know, so much for being a real job, and now I'm back to doing this again. And so, you know, I've had a few tables that started with me early on. When I first started in May of 2021, they ran the entire 10 months, and they didn't end on their own. I had to shut them down because I was going to go do this real job. Uh, so we could say 10 months plus, you know, um, I think it's totally viable that these tables could go for years on the longest extreme. So we got the shortest extreme, the longest extreme and everything else in the middle. Um, but the campaign keeps going and I've actually seen people, uh, move to a different table. Like, uh, sometimes like if one table kind of breaks up or collapses on say Tuesday nights, people will be like, well, you know, I could game on Friday. How about I join the Friday table? That's a thing that happens. Or sometimes people will, um, you know, find people at a table that they don't really get along with or don't like or don't want to game with. And they'll be like, hey, um, you know, I could do Saturday. How about I drop out of this Wednesday table and, and go do the Saturday table? So that's something that really happens because, and for professional GMs out there, yeah, you, you got to deal with the public. Now, a sweet, sweet, sweet situation uh, for you as the professional GM is when a group, a pre-existing gaming group finds you and they come together as a set of people. Uh, so not only is the table full from day one, but those people already game together. Like they already get along well enough to game together. You're not going to have to worry about personality conflicts that they haven't already worked out themselves before they met you. So if they're a pre-existing gaming group, and they already existed as a gaming group, whether or not you were ever born, whether or not they ever met you, they already exist. That is just the sweetest situation. Um, and I have had several of those. Um, I had one gaming group that was, they gamed once a month, but they did it for eight hours because, you know, they all had kids and uh, jobs and careers. And they were just the old gaming group from back in the old days of their life. And they, they wanted to keep the, the gaming alive. And so uh, they had a commitment to set aside one Saturday a month in spite of all the jugglingness they had to do in their lives. So um, that was really neat. Uh, that was actually one of the tables I had to shut down um, when I went back to the quote-unquote real job world. So I'll never know how long that would have lasted. But uh, it was eight hours, just one group of people. But um, that, was, that was neat. But yeah, so the... Uh, in terms of dealing with people, this video is already approaching eight minutes, so I'm going to do another video specifically to help uh, give some of the insights and some of the experiences that I've seen in terms of dealing with people in this professional GM thing and trying to assemble tables of random strangers and trying to make it a good experience for them and profitable for you. And profitable for you means that they're going to keep coming. It's going to be a consistent thing, consistent income. Um, you know, consistent thing on your schedule and your calendar. So you're not out marketing all the time trying to fill empty tables. Uh, now, one quick note, though, I think it's worth mentioning here in this video um, is I have noticed that when Christmas break comes around, when spring break comes around, when the beginning of summer break happens, when the end of summer break happens and people go back to school, these are what I call the shakeup times <laughs> because people's whole schedules change. And I've been doing this long enough now, like we just went through spring break because this is March and there's some shakeup and some of the tables fell apart and we're putting together some new tables. And the first time that this happened, you know, because I've been doing this for two years with that break for a real job for a little bit. But the first time that there was one of these shakeup times, I was like, oh man, what happened? And it just really like blindsided me, you know, oh, my business is falling apart. I thought this was working. Um, and now I'm like, no, I got this. This is, uh, I understand like it, this is shake up Christmas break, spring break, beginning of summer break and end of summer break when school starts again. Um, these are, are shake up times. And so about half my tables collapsed this last spring break and the, but half of them are like stronger than ever. Like if you go to grumpyoldgms.com right now on March 26th, like half our tables like full, you can watch for free, but it's full, no more room. So um, getting used to the idea that there's these shakeup times would be really helpful. That's not, not every, when things go bad, it doesn't always mean that you suck. 
in life. When things go bad, it doesn't always mean it's you. It can be you when things suck in life. But if you just assume that it's always you, then you're going to be a negative person that's always too hard on yourself, and that's not going to help you succeed. Um, now, when something is you, yes, then, then in life we need to change when we discover that it's us. Um, but not everything is us. And then you're just giving yourself you know, a hard time and feeling negative self-confidence and stuff for no reason. All right, so I'm going to talk tomorrow more about... Um, dealing with different kinds of personalities at the table. In the meantime, uh, if you like this coaching and you want some personalized coaching on Discord or the phone, we've got Patreon down below. We've got um, a Grumpy Old GM's website with our schedule. We've got our Discord um, to hang out with us. Uh, even if you're not at a table, just come watch a table or something. You know, um, We have fun with you. Uh, you'll have fun with us. And then, um, so the picture today uh, is the blue-haired elf that's supposed to be like me looking at a calendar because the question here is how long can you really expect a table to last? Well, um, generally you get out of it what you put into it and we try to hook you up with, with good people. we got a good community here. Just come into Discord. You, should pro you could probably be able to find a day or time that you could probably game at one of our tables. All right. In the meantime, I'll see you around the gaming table.